Vielen Dank. Ja. Danke sehr. Ja, ich mache es jetzt wesentlich kürzer. Den Jab Biemanns habe ich vor drei Jahren gefragt. Kennengelernt habe ich ihn auf der Kolophon, also die Konferenz, die Jeremy und Mike äh, gegründet haben. Und habe ihn gefragt, ob er hier kommen möchte. Also er ist Kawachanki, die meisten werden das kennen. Aber er ist auch Artdirektor vom Volkskrant Magazin. Und dann hat er gesagt, nee, jetzt habe ich ein Kind bekommen, geht nicht. Nächstes Jahr habe ich angerufen, hat er gesagt, jetzt ziehe ich um, geht nicht. Nächstes Jahr habe ich, dieses Jahr, nein, nächstes Jahr habe ich angerufen, er sagt dann, jetzt steht das Redesign an von Volkskrant Magazin. Und das ist wirklich wahnsinnig gut geworden. Und insofern hat dieser lange Anlauf wirklich auch Sinn, weil jetzt kann er uns das Magazin vorstellen, das wahrscheinlich die meisten hier überhaupt nicht kennen. Es ist auch schwierig in Deutschland zu bekommen. Also man, am Kiosk gibt es zwar die Zeitung Volkskrant, aber das Magazin liegt meistens nicht bei. Ich freue mich sehr, dass er uns das vorstellt, äh, Jab Biemanns. Well, uh, thank you everybody. Um, um, well, it's true. Um, uh, I'm first, I, I gotta say, um, I'm very honored to be uh, in this uh, event. Uh, it, it looks very good. The program is very good. Uh, I don't do this very often, like you just heard. And standing here, I just realized why that is. Um, but uh, uh, it's going to be good, I hope. First, uh, I would like to uh, introduce myself a little bit. Um, uh, my name is Ja Biemans, as you can see. Uh, I'm an art director for Volkswagen Magazine. So, all right, oh, I just use this one? All right, cool. Um, well, this is going to work better, I think, yes. Um, I'm an art director in uh, Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and I'm designing uh, Volkswagen Magazine each week. Uh, but uh, people uh, know me a little bit more as uh, Coffee Junkie. That's my name in the digital world. Um, I'm having a blog, Cover Junkie. I don't know if everybody knows this one, um, uh, but I'm blogging about covers. Um, it's like a celebration of the best cover designs and the makers of it. Um, and Cover Junkie is like, yeah, well, it's my addiction to magazine covers. Um, oh, Cover Junkie is my addiction to magazine uh, Let's make you in the face. Uh, this, this is my line. Um, well, it definitely is my addiction. Welcome to my living room. <laughs> Welcome to my garage. It is, really is. Um, so, in general, it is an addiction to creativity. Um, I think creativity is the only way uh, and the perfect way to survive right now and uh, a perfect way to stand out for all competitors. For you who doesn't know or haven't seen uh, the website uh, yet, this is it. Um, it's got like 20,000 covers in it right now in the database. Uh, of course, uh, the new ones on top. Um, and it goes all the way back to like 1900. Um, I have like these little sections on the site. My most favorite one is like, all, of course, all like serious ones like typographical stuff. Uh, uh, premier issue covers, but also uh, my favorite section, the Kate Moss covers. Um, when you click on one, uh, it enlarges, and you can navigate all kinds of ways to the website. Uh, when you click on Vogue, you see all the Vogue covers underneath. So it's um, this is the setup. I added like a little feature last year. Um, I didn't promote this a lot, but I think it's pretty good, um, and uh, lots of people use it. Uh, when you click on the heart underneath the cover, this is going to um, be this. Uh, it's going to be on your own personal page. So it's your po it's possible to make your own personal page uh, by signing in. You get an, uh, a nice. Uh, you you can choose your uh, own name. It's got coverjockey.com/slash. 
uh, whatever you want. And then you can save your favorites or you can save like uh, your own uh, cover designs when they're on cover junkie. Um, well, so for me, like creativity is where it's all about. Um, this one is coming up. This example is coming out like on each talk I do. Um, it is pretty old already, and but it's this is like exactly where it's about in cover design or like in general in magazine design. I think um, it's not real spectacular. Like on the left, that's the issue uh, uh, that was uh, sold in the USA. On the right, it's sold in the UK. Uh, but altogether, they make like Feb 40. Um, there's no reader who will notice this. Um, and th so they don't have to do it, but they do it. So they make it fun for themselves. And when you have that energy, it you know I think you're working on the on the right Mac and. Um, yeah, well, that's going to support the Mac. This is the same thing. Um, this was my favorite. Oh, I've got to tell you, um, I'm going to show you, like, the best stuff from the last years. Uh, so to get into the mood, it's always good to see uh, the great covers. Um, uh, and this was my favorite, like, a few years ago. This like an, looks like an ordinary cover. Vice magazine, nothing really happening, but it's a gatefold. Uh, when you fold it out, you see like the soldier on the on the right, and immediately it's like uh, like a storytelling kind of cover that I like a lot. Um, the one on the left, that's my favorite. Um, well, it's definitely in my top ten ever. It's from uh, Bloomberg Business Week. Well, imagining making, creating a cover about the Euro crisis. Um, that's probably the dullest subject that you can uh, get to make a cover about. And this guy, Richard Turley, uh, he was speaking to like the audience, bang head here. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of brilliant. They have like this little uh, on the on the. Uh, uh, downstairs, like one, two, three, four, like what you got to do, put it on a head, uh, on a hard surface, and blah, blah, blah. It makes it even more funnier. And I was sitting in a taxi with Stephen Heller today, and he told me uh, this was his favorite cover. And, I, and then I figured, well, maybe it's a bit of the same, you know. You approach the audience like, um, uh, like directly. It's you don't see that very much in the uh, in the stands. This one also in my top ten, <laughs> yeah, like ever. This is made by the artist the Barbara Kruger, and I don't know if you know the story behind it, but it's the governor that was like um, he had his program to d to uh, get rid of all the prostitutes in New York, and at night he was partying with those prostitutes. So, and this is brilliant because it's a minimalistic shot. It's a mini minimalistic uh, uh, typo uh, thing there. And uh, altogether, uh, it, it's funny. Um, on the left, it's like New York Times Magazine. They have like this, uh, once in a while they do this, the, the headline is the artwork. It's pretty good. But on the right, I, I wanted to show you, this is my favorite cover uh, ever, designed in the Netherlands. It's coming from the Netherlands by Piet Schroeders. We were talking about it uh, earlier in the cab. Um, this is pretty good because it's it's about uh, Berlusconi that was like um, uh, dominating the media in Italy. So this designer took like uh, Italian newspapers and folded them in a way that the uh, because the title of this mag is VPRO hits. So you he folded it those uh, uh, he folded those newspapers in a way you read VPRO and you immediately get the sense of uh, that it's about Berlusconi um, and it's about Italy. So it's, I think this is like a brilliant done, very intelligent cover design. Um, but I'm not about, uh, well, I gotta say, Cover Junkie is not about like the big time titles, Vanity Fair. Of course, I always love those, I love those ones. Um, but I like, like the simple stuff I like. Um, uh, London Best Shops, that's like the headline that you get. Okay, what are you going to do? Um, this is, this is very, uh, a very boring subject. But when you add like a little 
I don't know how you call that in English, but uh, the little thing like it's a bag, then it becomes something uh, special. On the right, it's like New York Times magazine, uh, where they turned the cover into um, like a big envelope. This is a magazine I'm looking forward to each week. You got one of you. You got those magazines. You know they do good stuff like each week. Metropoli is from Spain and is one of those. Uh, this guy, this art director, is adjusting the uh, headline like each week. On the left, like a comic, and on the right, it's from the movie. Mostly, most of the time, it's about movies. On the right, it's uh, about uh, the movie Grand uh, Café Budapest. Um, it's it's well executed. It's like yeah, it's like artwork each week. And well, the guy is not afraid either. Uh, this was a this was a, uh, about the movie uh, um, Argos, I guess it was. And he put some Mickey ears on Kamani. Well, I don't know if you would do it these days, but. Um, there are fatwas outspoken for lesser than this. And here he's doing um, the movie. Um, well, again, eh, in here the, the, cov the, head the, the logo is the artwork. And this is for the movie um, Nymphomaniac. And while we're at this subject, um, on the left from the Netherlands, uh, those lips, that was really something when th these came out, uh, you know, imagining being an art director of Playboy magazine. Again, we have this beautiful shot of this beautiful girl. Um, uh, and then he comes up with something like this, you know, that stuff that I like. On the right, that's Granta, um, also a good one. This won the, um, uh, the best vote uh, on Cover Junkie that year. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed when I saw it in, 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 in real time because it's like this big. Uh, but it's definitely definitely good, um, and this happens when you know when you have stuff like that in the stands, you get copycats all over. And I found out later that like the original is from Germany, uh, this was Nova. Um, uh, again, like we keep it at the sex subject a little bit. Um, time out, London. This is made by Noma Bar, a fabulous fabulous artist, and uh, well. It's funny, um, but the thing is that the advertiser uh, thought differently, and he was uh, they uh, he, they could, could not run this one because the, uh, it was rejected. Can you believe it? So they um, did this instead, and they asked the audience to participate a little bit. Well, this is this is what you get. Well, yeah, it's too bad because it was it was a very good one. This is what I like a lot. You know, it is. Uh, um, on the left, it's like 2003. On the right, it's 2008. Um, create your own tradition. Um, use the stuff that you used before. You probably all know this one, but when this came out, I was like flabbergasted. Um, it's two competitors holding uh, each other's cover on the uh, on the cover, so it's it's kind of a genius one. This one, um, this one I liked. Uh, came out last year. Uh, it's from Belgium. Um, it's, it's, it feels like uh, like this retro rainbow jersey cycling. It's a cycling mag. And later I found out this also got a back cover. That's extra points, if you ask me. You know, especially when okay, you know those people they send me the cover, but they don't send don't send me the, the back cover. I don't understand it because uh, it makes it even more fun. You know, with a little banana and and stuff. Uh, speaking of back covers, uh, this is probably the most famous cover ever, but nobody knows this one. Or maybe you do, but uh, they hardly show this one. They never show this one, but it's a back cover from this. Um, in here you have like newspapers doing great covers. Uh, you don't see that a lot, uh, newspapers. I think they have like um, uh, all the power to do great stuff, but uh, you hardly see it. Liberation is doing it from France. On the left, it's the death of Steve Jobs. And on the right, it is kind of like uh, France lost his triple A status, uh, finance stuff. Um, and you can do great stuff, you, you know, just by being smart with type. 
on the left, this was my favorite from last year, uh, when uh, the future King George, is it George? I don't remember, was born. And like every, every, like every magazine in the whole world was like printing the baby on the cover. And they were coming up with this one. It's, it's, it's brilliant. And on the right, yeah, well, it's a sad, it's a sad cover. But the financial, and they dropped the lettering, so it's, it's like the last issue of Final Times. Financial Times, it's like final. This magazine is also like, I'm looking forward to each month. On the, this one, the, on the left, it's the new one, it's the current one. On the right, I, I think it's pretty genius to use the, 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 the logo into the headline. It says like, wrong story, so it's kind of good. Uh, on the left, they wanted to show um, um, the impact of all the stuff you have on the internet. So they selected uh, a few readers and made personalized covers. And on those covers, there was the, like the bank accounts, their names, uh, the names of their children, stuff like that. Everything that they, that they could find uh, on the internet. And then they sent it to those people. So can you imagine getting an, a cover of Wired with all your personal info on the cover? And on the right, I still love this one. Uh, that one uh, is Wired UK. Um, they didn't want to run like a, an old face on the cover, so they faked a misprint. No from from Germany. Um, I don't know if it's big in Germany. Um, I uh, like to read it like each month. Um, uh, this was this was so cool. Uh, it's like a deformable cover. Um, they used the uh, and, and that's what they l do quite often. They use the properties of ink and paper, um, like in here. You know, when it's this was the summer issue. When it's in the sun, the this guy turned all red. Uh, speaking of making your own tradition, like New Yorker is doing it. This was the first issue uh, like uh, 80 years ago, I guess. 70 years. I can read it. 1925. And on each year, uh, on the same date uh, in February, they show this mascot that Eustace Tilly is his name. I don't know if I pronounced it right. And they show that one uh, on that cover on that sp a particular week. And speaking of tradition, ESPN is uh, making their own tradition by uh, publishing their um, uh, body issues. This is probably the well, most well-known tradition of Time magazine. And this was something, th yeah, well, uh, speaking of doing something extra, uh, what you don't see very often, Little White Lies is a magazine from the UK. Uh, it's about uh, movies. Then you have Huck. It's like a skate magazine. Uh, but altogether, it was like this in the stand. This is pretty good. Um, your own side magazine. Um, I, I like this. But I definitely like this even more. Because, you know, this is like you don't have to do this. It's like extra. Make it more fun for yourself. Um, well, and I, I added this one because... Uh, it was my favorite last year because it's so simple, but it reminded me of this one. And this was like my key moment uh, being in art school, seeing this cover. You know, uh, I have back then it was like uh, 90 in the mid 90s. Um, I haven't seen that uh, till then. And it surprised me. And it, you know, it, this one that was an eye opener that you can do. Great stuff with simple elements and um, create a whole new atm atm atmosphere. This is a perfect example of connecting online and uh, real uh, magazines. People, there's like 20,000 different covers, 20,000. Uh, people could like design it online and then they got their own issue on print at home in the mailbox. Well, this is also about having, f uh, having fun in the art, de art department. It's one big illustration. Again, uh, probably a, a reader will not see it, but uh, you know, it's try to keep it fun for yourself, equally as as important. Uh, same here. Um, well, well, this this is like the concept of having the subscribers cover and uh, like a newsstand cover. Um, 
like when you uh, when you have a subscription, you get like the more designed cover uh, to to keep you more involved with the whole brand. Um, having 40 covers when you're 40 years old. Uh, this is like region covers. Uh, you don't see that very often. I don't know why, because I think it's like also a brilliant idea that you can do, you can push that a lot more. Uh, like each region, like in, in Munich, you have like the Bayern Munich cover, and in Hamburg, you got uh, HSV. Uh, same here, they do this quite often. This is also a bit like that, but uh, slightly different. On the right, you have the subscribers cover. It's more nude. On the left, the uh, newsstand cover for America, except for New York and Los Angeles. They have the middle ones. Uh, this is also in the category, make it fun for yourself uh, as a designer, as an art director. You know, make the connection with the two. And this one is... It is pretty ugly. Uh, it's, I, I think it's 2003 or something, but it's pretty remarkable also because it's it's also a personalized cover. It's like 40,000 different ones, and uh, uh, your name is on it. It's printed on it, and in the circle is like your home. Can you imagine, in, you know, getting that at home in a mailbox? Uh, well, this is probably the master of all split runs. Uh, it's like a cover rhyme. Uh, you see, like this people, it's uh, you see Ali and the Queen, and then the Queen and Bono, and then it goes on, and it's they've got like uh, 16 of those. Um, getting all of them on eBay will cost you a little fortune. Um, I don't know if I have. I didn't look at the time. Um, okay, uh, quick cover concepts. This is pretty. Distinctive because they turn around headline and uh, uh, logo. Like critic is the logo; it's right underneath on the condom package, and the headline is like where normally the logo is. So they change the whole concept. Uh, up is like an in-flight magazine, and here they design the logo as like a destination they fly to. It's so aesthetic, um, still doing this, and uh, uh, well, yeah, well, it doesn't get any better aesthetic than this. Uh, I like this concept. It's sold by homeless, uh, homeless guys on the street to earn some money. And uh, again, it's uh, Bloomberg Business Week. Um, they're like the kings of cover design right now, if you ask me. This one made me, uh, made me laugh out loud when I saw this one for the first time. Imagining creating a cover for uh, hedge funds. Uh, well, uh, I don't know where you come up with, but um, it's probably not going to be uh, that's as funny as this one. Uh, I tried it and uh, I, I did not succeed. And they do this like every time, like the, 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 ones I sh the one I showed you about the euro crisis. Also like a boring subject, but they come up with something funny. And um, they do this like each week. Um, they changed the uh, design directors uh, like last year. Uh, but they continue doing great stuff. And, um, um, well, you know, everybody can make one good cover a year, but try to make like 40 good covers a year. This, that's, they, they, can do, they do it. In the in the beginning, they were running like this little flap. They're not doing this anymore, but they use it also on a very uh, uh, genius way um, uh, with the with the nuclear disaster in uh, in Japan. And then we have this like genius uh, cover approach <laughs> from Mike. Um, he just told me they're gonna quit this uh, next year, but I think this is real uh, real. Uh, well done. Um, it's like a normal guy holding his own name, and that's like the title of the magazine. And that makes it likable and, 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 and sweet. Um, and, but the best thing is, it's still recognizable as that magazine. You know, that, that's, I've seen rip-offs from this, and, but that didn't work. But th this is good like each time. Uh, this is the. This is like the. Uh, yeah, I. I love to hate this one. It's clumsy. It is uh, poor executed. But 
on the other hand, you can say, well, they do this like every time, and uh, this is like their visual language. So now I'm loving him, loving them for this. Uh, but no, 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 uh, I hate them for this. It's it's it's, it's, it's incredible they do stuff like this, like on the, this one on the left. <laughs> Imagining if I would make this and, you know, go to my editor-in-chief and, you know, you know what I uh, found and uh, what I designed and then show that one. That would be, that would be silly. Um, this, yeah, well, there's like this trend now it's going on for a few, uh, a few years already uh, where, like, the headline is also in the artwork, like, made out of barbecue sauce, like a baked uh, logo. Um... Uh, well, this is a trend on itself, the chalkboard. Um, uh, but this is really well done, especially the one on the right. The complex is like in the neon on the on the, the theater. Uh, I did I tried this uh, once myself. This is like in 2000, so that's uh, way back. Um, I was working for New World Food. It was a big magazine in the Netherlands. We also did this. Um, uh, we changed the logo like a little, like in the same style as the illustration. It's not that good, but, you know, we tried it, and it was a disaster. This was, like, the, the worst-selling issue in history. So, you know, I all, I, it's not that well executed, but I also think that, you know, audience have to, has to be prepared for stuff like this. And in 2000, they were not. So, uh, you know, you can do stuff like that now more easily. Uh, now it's now it's my turn. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm coming to my uh, designs. Um, um, later, I started working at uh, Intermediaire magazine. This was a weekly, um, and I also did like used a lot of. Uh, sometimes I um, used the logo also into the artwork. Five minutes. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's pretty bad. And on the right is also the logo, uh, but also in, in Chinese. So it's like, are you prepared for China? Um, and they even uh, uh, agreed to do the logo in there. And of course, on page three, this was the whole thing in, in Dutch. Um, this, the, the Intermediate magazine was, uh, you know, they also have like this kind of dull subjects. This was like the interview with the CEO. Uh, of a, like a supermarket, so I made him like he was laying in his own supermarket. Uh, this is about divorce. Um, so I, I cut it like this, where you can see underneath the uh, page, uh, uh, the content page. Uh, this is like a story about what you do when your, your company moves to another part of the city, or about another other part of the country. We actually those, we interviewed those two guys. That's pretty dull, pretty dull uh, I, I think, but not if you photograph them like this. Um, I'm going to click to it now real quick. Um, uh, we made it a card game with the elections uh, in, uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, this was when uh, Obama was elected, but this was printed before the uh, real results came in. Um, People get angry all the time. <laughs> uh, then I started working for Holland's Deep. This was totally different. This was like uh, every two months. Uh, the other one well, was a weekly. Um, I was pretty good working at it, but I just found out because when it's once every two months, uh, it has to be perfect, perfect, perfect. You know, it, you, you take all the fresh air out of it. So I, you know, I really uh, love working for uh, weeklies. Um, in the meantime, I was doing this cover. Uh, for Vrij uh, this was just because I was in the building and their art director was clubbing on a, in a pizza or something. So they, he, the, the editor asked me, if you, can you make a, the, the summer sex issue for us? Uh, and you have one day, so I could not arrange like a photo, shooting, a photo shoot. So I had to do it with like a stock uh, uh, images and it was like a, a real buzz on on uh, on uh, Twitter and stuff. Is it boobs or is it ass? That was the whole big thing. I also made an, uh, another option on the left. This is an, a photo from Aaron Olaf because this was a little uh, the, the underline long lay for the in out is uh, is about the package. So the, I think that was funny. But they chose uh, the right one 
And I asked uh, George Lois, uh, my uh, all-time hero in cover design, what he was thinking about this one, and this is what he said. Um, and I was making my own magazine at the time, so that's why I asked him that. And uh, I met him uh, also in New York. He, he uh, autographed his... This is George Lois, and this is his cover design. It's in the MoMA New York, so it's, it's like real classic. This is the magazine I was making. I still have a few left, so... Uh, when there are people that you know are interested, uh, just let me know. I can send you one. It's uh, jam-packed with all the cover designs and with um, uh, interviews with designers. I need five more minutes, if possible. All right. Uh, then I start working at Fox on Magazine. Uh, this was my very first uh, cover, um, and it, this was like uh, perfectly what it was. Uh, totally different than the before that. Um, uh, so I was very happy with this one. Uh, Folks on Magazine is like a feel-good magazine. It's general interest. Uh, on, like on, it's, it comes with the, uh, with the newspaper, Volkskrant, Volkskrant. And on each Saturday morning when it arrives, people photograph their magazine with their breakfast. I don't know why, but that happens a lot. And that, but that gives a little bit yeah, I could go on and on and on, but that gives a little bit the atmosphere of the magazine. You know, people want to have that good feeling on a Saturday morning. Um, so, I will just click to some uh, covers that I did last year, and I, I added some inside spreads to, so you get a little bit of an idea. It's not that it's the best; those are the best spreads, but they belong to like the cover on the uh, on, uh, above. Uh, this one I did last, not too long ago. On the left, it's the men's issue. We asked this uh, illustrator to do like all headlines with this typography. On the right, it's about uh, what happens when kids get physical to their parents. And it's a real shot, you know, it's not faked, uh, but it's, it's with a glass uh, and like a little click system. Um, uh, on the left, it's a Valentine's cover. This was artwork that I o o bought like 10 years ago for my girlfriend. It's in the house, but then I thought, hey, well, maybe it's, it's a great cover. Uh, and she made another option uh, about that. Uh, on the left, it's uh, why we are women too insecure to reach the top at the office. And uh, this was the inside spread. Um, it's a great artist. She's doing. She's having a great project with this one. Um, this is about uh, being at uh, a barber, but I knew we had like uh, we didn't have uh, the backside uh, advertisement that week. Something went wrong. So then, you know, I decided also to uh, photograph the other side just to make it fun for yourself. You know, that's that's where it's about. This is the cover of the, uh, uh, that's going to be like. Next Saturday, it's about a vlogger. Um, it's like some dude. Sometimes uh, uh, covers happen on a very strange way. This was like a, a, a photographer uh, showing her portfolio. She had only had this picture, so I said, "Well, make it a series." And then we have like uh, uh, <laughs> then we have a great cover and a, a very good feature. Oh, and I wanted to give a shout out to those photographers because we I I, uh, I use those. Two photo photographers a lot uh, in the Netherlands that are start young women. One is coming Saturday in here. So it's Aisha Seipfeld. Um, they're representing like a whole new atmosphere of photography um, that I like a lot. You know, it's subtle. Subtle. It is. It got uh, really uh, great coloring. On the left, that's like a harpist player. Harpist with uh, I don't know if that's the great the great. Uh, uh, but she's wearing this dress with like with the strings and then th this little hand on the right. It's about this food guru girl, um, and it's not shopped. You know, everything is for real. Um, this is like the inside. Uh, this is Anne Claire de Bray. She's photographed this one. I have to make this uh, clear. And uh, also Anne Claire de Bray. Uh, Anne Claire de Bray, um, and now we are to Aisha Seipfeld. She's coming this Saturday. You definitely got to go there because it's incredible stuff. Um, you know, see like the third hand on the right, 
and also in here. So it's not that obvious, but it's real subtle. And in here with the with the with the shadows. And she created this is, uh, on the right. It's about losing your hair. So she created like this old wig. Um, this was also kind of making a big roar on uh, Twitter and um, uh, the internet. Um, but I got to give a shout out to this guy. Uh, that's your own Aaron Blumenfeld from Germany. Um, that I like a lot what he's doing. To give you an insight uh, on how do I make an how do I make a cover set uh, Volkskrant magazine? It's like I always try out two stuff, two st two stories. On the right in here, for example, this is just an example. There's like the interview. We have this picture. It's a normal looking picture. You know, you can't go wrong with it. On the left, it's it's about uh, when do you give a little kid a mobile phone? Um, this is not a good cover, but uh, I have the sense that you know I can make something good out of it. So I keep stalling the decision. My editor wants to have like the decision real quick. Uh, I keep stalling. I, you know, I need a more, uh, an, another day, another two days, and then you come up with stuff like this. Um, so I was real happy with this one, and uh, you know, this is how I do it like each week. Uh, the fun thing about this one was that uh, um, I got mail from uh, the Süddeutsche when they sent me their cover for Cover Junkie. It is, uh, this was the same week. Yeah, can you believe it? Uh, same here. On the right, it's like a, a classic portrait. The interview people, uh, the interview. Uh, on the right, it's on the left. It's like the two kids uh, murdered by their dad. Um, so, but you have to think of that. You know, it's it's it's. But I was I wanted to do I wanted to make something out of the left one. So after a couple of days, this uh, this came out, and then I'm real happy that we didn't chose for the interview. Um, this is like uh, the big interview with our Minister of Finance, uh, Desselbloem. Uh, what do you do? This is like the photography. Okay, we can put that on the cover. Uh, that would be good, uh, but that would not be extra. Uh, so I was thinking about the money b that we had before, that ugly euro. Uh, that's the gilder. And uh, I changed like the whole cover you know, I, I illustrated the guy and then put this on the cover, like this. Um, the sexy show, here we are again. Um, on the left, uh, this was like a stock photo. Uh, it was, uh, you know, it was a striking cover, so I liked it. Uh, on the right, we had this interview with this porn star, Bobby Eden. And I asked if I could photograph her nipple like this, uh, like that, and uh, she allowed. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but we uh, we were uh, eventually we were running on the for the we were going for the left one. Um, too bad because I was you know on the right would be a little bit better. But I was also pitching this one. But I didn't know the crowd was this big, so I'm not sure if I can show you this um, because we also <laughs> yeah we had this story. Uh, uh, Porn in Dutch, uh, uh, porn in no, uh, porn in Dutch literature. That was the story. So, this photographer came up with this, um, and I really pitched this one. I, I didn't believe I could make it, but you know, it's it's fun to you know get the reaction of the editor in chief. Uh, but also, yeah, uh, <laughs> and it is it is his own uh, piece. So it, it ended up like this. It ended up like this. And this photographer, so we, we're asking this guy every time when it's about sex or, or dirty stuff. So on the left, he did this one like three weeks ago. It's about Danish sperm. And on the right, it's a story about uh, the evolution of boobs. And it's also him again, you know. So he likes to get himself involved also. Uh, this one, is, uh, this is like... Uh, the, uh, we had this interview with this columnist. She's very popular. She's Mrs. Mrs. Twitter in the Netherlands. Uh, but I hated the the, the photo, so uh, we, we I had to think of something else. So we I just created her timeline on there, you know, and uh, uh, it was a striking cover, if you ask if you ask me. Um, this is how I 
I have the columnist in the magazine right now. And I'm thinking about a redesign, uh, doing it like this. But when I see it now, I, maybe I should not redesign. I don't know. Okay, this one is, uh, we're almost there. Um, this one is about uh, how nuts are we in the Netherlands. Um, it's like a scientific uh, survey. Um, so this game, I, I was thinking about this little game you used to play as a kid. You know, you, you have this folded piece of paper and then you give that to your neighbor and then it goes around and then somebody's reading it and it says like, uh, when you read this, you're crazy. So this was the cover, but then again, uh, it, would, it would be nice. It would be a nice cover, but then uh, I thought, well, this is not the extra. This is extra, but we can we can go further on this one. So we decided to run this as a cover, and then the other one on page three. Uh, this is like a uh, famous fashion designer in the Netherlands uh, with a lot of metal in his head. So we did decided to strip him, but this is like a normal guy. Uh, so nobody would recognize him, so we decided to run only his medal on uh, on the cover. Uh, this is like the intro for the, for my favorite cover I did for Volkswagen magazine. This is like an image I have in my head from uh, during the days of uh, when I was in art school. This is like some little phone card with the belly button. I don't know. I, I, it was striking back then, and it came up when we had this uh, feature about. Um, um, yeah, one minute. <laughs> beauty preferences amongst men. Beauty preferences amongst men. What does a man want? So I made this one, but it's not that good. So I asked this illustrator, Paul Fasse, a uh, genius guy who's doing all kinds of 3D stuff with, uh, with, with the line uh, uh, drawings. And he came up with uh, this, like uh, little sketches. And then finally, he came up with this one. This makes me f this makes me laugh also when I when I saw this one, so that's my favorite. And right now I'm working uh, because I'm working at the newspaper. I'm also like a little bit involved on the uh, front page of the mag of the newspaper itself. This one came out and uh, it made me cry a little bit. So I turned it um, into this. This is like the same subject, but then a different way of storytelling. Uh, it's about two guys that were like dismissed on the, uh, I, I don't know, uh, some platform. So um, this is like this is like the same subject, but uh, a different cover. I'm really, really into the, the newspaper design right now. Uh, this is what I did with uh, the Christmas special. This is uh, like a few years ago, we had this interview with Snowden. I actually took like a photo from Wired. Um, this is what I designed, but it was not chosen when we introduced a new website. It's like you want it, it's how you can translate it. Uh, instead, they chose this one. It's the safe way with the tier, and then you see on the right, you see like the, the website on the left, it's the newspaper. It's a bit boring, but for our newspaper, this is like the revolution. So that's two different worlds, newspapers and uh, magazines. Uh, but I definitely would loved it when you you have this like in the mailbox um, and this is the last one uh, this one is uh, not that old maybe two months uh, this made me cry even more because this is like a dull 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 uh, front page but all the elements for a good page are in there um, you see on the left it's like this comedian guy who says it's my last interview but you hardly recognize the comedian guy with the mask in the middle, it's like uh, the, the women soccer team qualified for the World Cup, but you don't see any girls, you don't see uh, orange, uh, you only see is some dull graphics. So I decided to change that a little bit and, um, uh, and, and make it more appealing, if you ask me. This course is like a revolution in uh, the Volkskrant, so we're discussing newspapers, front pages of newspapers, like all the time now. And you have like... Tons of people who still like the left one, um, but, but that's a good thing, you know. You have to show them it can be done different. It's not that I'm that I think that I'm right in that, but um, it's good when you have a discussion about it. Um, that's about it. Thank you.